Hello, this is Robert uh, getting ready to do a part two of the communications video for preppers. Uh, I'm going to pick up where I left off in part one here. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I uh, appreciate y'all watching these and uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you uh, want to see some more of this stuff. And uh, as you can tell, I do like to ride motorcycles and I've got my trusty friend Fritz here. And uh, so I'm going to jump right into this uh, communication video and uh, show what uh, needs to be done in an emergency. Thank you. Another kind of uh, radio to have is one of these emergency crank radios. And uh, these allow you to uh, not only have a, a light source, and, uh, but you also have a radio on here. And you can listen to the local uh, broadcast and uh, the good thing about that is that uh, you know you want to know you want information you want communication uh, to you about something that might be uh, happening in your area so you can uh, know that it's time for you to start uh, executing your plan and uh, using your preparation skills and this uh, is uh, something I know uh, that occurs in uh, Israel though uh, because of lots of um, bombings and things like that you know uh, uh, violent acts could occur they'll have a radio playing in the background uh, with them no matter where they're at um, just because it could be some breaking news something that uh, they might need to become aware of real quickly and uh, the same thing's true here uh, you know, you might want to even, if you don't listen to the radio all the time, you might want to check in with the radio, uh, you know, on the hour or uh, at sometimes when you know news is going to be on the radio. So you can just at least get the news feed. But uh, staying informed is a, a good preparation for uh, uh, keeping yourself safe. Set that one down. Um, another communication source. Um, I don't have a cell phone, but I use this device, which is, uh, this one's by Verizon. Uh, some of the other carriers also have these. This unit is uh, using the uh, cellular phone network to make calls, and uh, it has a, a external micro or external antenna here, and it uses a regular corded phone, uh, so this can replace your home phone. But the, the nice thing about this one is if you wanted to put a larger antenna to pick up better signals and such, you know, if you were out in a very remote location or something like that, that you need to do that. And just in general, with this larger antenna, it has a better coverage area. Um, and you're not limited to just using this at home. You can carry this with you. It's not convenient. It doesn't have all the features and stuff like texting and, and messaging and such. But it will... Uh, give you an ability to, uh, to communicate. Um, I'll set that down. Uh, that was called the Verizon Home Connect and you can go to the web page and find more information about that. And that just brings me to the regular phone, you know, your home phone where you have copper lines coming into your house and being able to make a call. But again, like I said, this one that operates off of batteries, uh, if the power's off and your base unit's uh, not powered up, you'll have a problem making a phone call so a corded phone is a good thing to have uh, as a secondary option there as your backup. I'm, I'm going to conclude this video here um, I may have a little uh, information after this but I uh, wanted to say I'm going to use my tagline again Pugnatum Infinitum uh, that's Latin for uh, fight to the finish and uh, thank you very much.